Hey everybody, this is Dream, and today we're going to be reviewing Blue Fire. Blue Fire is developed by Ruby Studios and published by Graffiti Games. Uh, this is a platformer. It's also an ID at Xbox title, and it is $19.99 on Xbox. It came out on July 9th of 2021. Alright, so this is a platforming game, and you play as this little character, and he's a little blue character. <laughs> And you're going to be uh, going around with your swords and weapons, and you're going to be fighting enemies and trying to find uh, these different uh, uh, challenges that you need to complete in order to progress through the level. And then you're going to find bosses and things that you need to kill in order to uh, to beat the each level. Um, you also are going to find books and other items like fragments and. Uh, flames uh, that you're going to need to ignite in order to do different things and they're going to give you different types of power-ups and things as you progress. Uh, overall, it's kind of a puzzly game because you do kind of have to go around trying to figure out where you need to go and what you need to do. Um, there's lots of different types of uh, rooms where sometimes you have to figure out how to climb to the top. There's uh, also a chest that you're going to find that you're going to find the power-ups and things in like shields and things of nature and life. Um, some of the levels are going to be requ going to require you to try to find uh, just different routes in order to find the objective. Um, and there's a lot of uh, kind of trial and error in that aspect, as well as just figuring out that there's uh, different ways to get to those places. Um, overall, the game is pretty interesting and fun. Uh, the platforming in it is pretty good. I will say that some of the mechanics aren't perfectly done, but they're not terrible. Like, I've played a lot of platforming games over the years, and I've played some that are really bad, and this one's pretty good. Um, you also note when you're walking around the levels that you're going to find a lot of doors that are uh, you're not able to, like, enter. And some of those doors do come available later on, and so that's something to note. Uh... Um, overall, I found the enemies in the game to be pretty lackluster in their, and, and like, the quality of differences and things of that nature. Uh, but really the game is more devoted to the platforming aspect of the game itself and finding the things that you need to find in order to progress. Overall, I'm gonna give the game a 7 out of 10, because I actually think this game's pretty fun for what it is. Uh, it's not there's nothing in this that you haven't really seen before in other platforming style games. But it's got a little bit of a platforming slash story kind of thing going, which is actually pretty fun. And so I've actually enjoyed playing the game quite a bit. Um, I didn't really know what to expect coming into the game, and so I was pleasantly surprised with how I actually enjoyed it. Overall, um, the achievements in the game are also going to take a little bit of time. Um, they are, uh, you know, for completing most levels and finding different items and things of nature. And I think that you probably wouldn't miss too much, if any, uh, throughout the game. Um, if you just play it naturally, but there might be a couple that are missable. Um, I'm about a half way through the game, uh, so far, and so I'm not exactly certain if a couple of them can be missed, but I don't actually think that they're, I don't think it's likely that they're missable, but, uh, well, I think you could not, uh, purchase all the spirits, technically, but, um, at any rate, uh, the game's pretty good, and so I definitely recommend it from that perspective. The price being 20 bucks, uh, it is actually on sale right now for $15.99, and so it might be worth it at that price. However, I still feel like this game is probably maxed out at $15, bucks. so at $15.99 on sale, that's a pretty decent price for what it is, and I think you'll probably enjoy it if you're into platformers. So that's pretty much all I got for this one. Uh, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and let us know what you think in the comments. Have a nice day.